Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a redesign on this set of acrylic nails. So of course the first thing that I'm doing is just going in with a pair of nippers to remove the bling and this set has been on for exactly four weeks and as you can see all of the bling is still in place. Everything still looks really really good and then her nails did not grow out that much for four weeks well i kind of have some clients whose nails grow slow others grow fast but this has been on for four weeks um but i'm gonna go ahead and remove the bling on both hands and then well i was giving you a close look but um i'm gonna remove the bling on both hands and then i'm gonna go in with the extra cores drill bit and we're gonna be removing the gel polish and then i'm also gonna fall down the acrylic a little bit more because i'm gonna replace that with uh the colored acrylic and i don't want the nails to be super thick so we have to fall away that um cover blush acrylic that she already has on Alrighty, so I'm going to go in with the extra coarse drill bit and as you can see I'm following the sides of this nail to take it off because she said she had already broke it off and she just glued it back on. Um, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and take it off and sometimes if you use your tip cutter it like the other day I broke my tip cutter trying to uh, cut down someone's nail like I was doing a soak off so I was going to cut the nails first and I broke the tip cutter so make sure that you either file it off like I did or use a nail clipper um, but now I'm just going in and I'm going to file away that colored acrylic and then we're going to of course replace the nail and then for the rest of the nails I'm going to just go in and just file down or we'll remove the gel polish and then file down the acrylic
So after that, we're going to go in and just push back the cuticles. And this is going to expose the new growth and help with reducing lifting. So you want to make sure that you never skip this step. And then after we finish pushing back the cuticles, we're going to go in with the 180 sanding band. And I'm using the Melody Susie Scarlet Nail Drill, which I really love. I've never had any problems with it at all. So be sure to go check them out. And I'm using a 180 sanding band. And I'm just following the natural nail going from the right side all the way over to the left side going back and forth and i'm using this e-file at 5000 rpms um, but as always you know if you need to use it a little bit slower or faster that is completely fine just adjust it to whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at um, so again we're just removing the shine you guys know that our body produces a lot of oils those oils happen to be on our nails as well which is why they're shiny so if you were to go in and just apply the acrylic over the shiny nail without prepping it or without removing the shine your nails will will live like literally that same day so make sure that you don't skip this step and that you get as close as you can to that cuticle area because that's usually where your lifting will come from if you don't do this step right so now we're going to go in and replace that thumbnail so i am using the macar press on nail tips and i just use them as tips because they're already that coffin shape and i don't have to over file and then after that i'm going in with the jcbd concepts primer and applying that on the natural nail only and then we're going to go in with the acrylic. So I'm using the JC Beauty Concepts Clear Acrylic. I'm also using their pink and a purple one. And of course, their monomer as well. And I'm using the alpha brush in a number 10. So I'll be sure to leave all of the links down below. So for this pinky, I first applied a bead of the clear underneath because so next time whenever she comes back and we're gonna do a different colored acrylic we can just file this pink and then we'll just file down to the clear and then we can add you know more colored acrylic instead of having to do a new set which is what a lot of people do um so i'm doing kind of like an ombre so i did a lighter pink at the tip and then a little bit darker in the middle and then a purple at the back um whenever i'm doing like ombre whether it's two colors three colors however many colors the key for me is just working with a little bit of product at a time that way you don't like grab a huge bead and then it kind of takes away from your you know ombre because then you have like that one color over the whole nail like it would just be too much so just work with a little bit of product or just work usually like after you've been doing nails for a while or practicing for a while like you'll kind of know exactly how big of a bead you need like if you're doing it around the cuticle area or just looking at your nail from the sides like you know where to add acrylic um as always you know like the colored acrylic is just for color so we have to go in and encapsulate with that same clear and just looking to see if we have a nice apex and if we have a good thickness at the tip that way of course our nails do not break off because your apex is where your nail gets its strength from so if you were to hit it on like a table on well on anything um, if it was thin, it would just break off. But when you have a good apex or that, you know, like, like I said, the apex is the strongest area on your nail. So if, if you have a good one and a strong apex, um, and a well-structured nail, then, you know, your nail is not going to break off. Like, yeah, it might hurt, of course, but it's not going to break off as easily. Um, but anyways, for the rest of the nails, um, we're going to do the pink on all of them. But then, of course, you know, we're going to do different colored acrylics on each one. So for this one, I'm just using the purple just on the entire nail. And then afterwards, I'm going to go in and encapsulate it with the clear. Alrighty, so for this middle finger, same thing going in with the clear. And then we're going to go in and do 
pink at the tip, purple at the back, and then encapsulated. And then for the next finger, we're going to do uh, purple and then with a slight marble at the tip with the gold foil. And then of course, encapsulating all of them with clear. Okay, so for the thumb, same thing going in with the clear. And then for this one, I'm just going to do it all pink. And then for the other hand, we're going to do not the exact same thing, but very similar. Um, but remember, the key to working with colored acrylic is not applying too much. And then just encapsulating and, you know, just building the structure of your nail with the clear. So that's your apex and the thickness at the tip. That way the nails do not break off, especially if they are are really long.
Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in and reshape the nails. Of course, they're already that coffin shape, but they have been on for four weeks. Uh, so, you know, they kind of lose their shape just a little bit, like the corners kind of round off. And also, whenever you apply acrylic, it kind of takes away from your shape. So you just have to go in and make sure that you perfect that coffin shape. So following the sides and the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle, and just look at your nail from the sides, you know, and just to see it maybe you fall a little bit too much on one side or the others or maybe the tip is crooked so just take a second to you know kind of step back and look at the nails after you shape them up so you need to or so you know if you need to go in and change something Alrighty, so after we finish reshaping the nails, I'm going in with my fine drill bed and we're just gonna file all of the nails. Going around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side, just going back and forth until you have, um, you know, sealed the cuticle area. Usually I'm able to tell by, by just looking at the nail and I'll be able to see where the cuticle is, where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is. And then that way I know that the acrylic is not on the skin. Um, but I know for me, whenever I first started doing nails, it did take me a while to finally like achieve no lifting. Um, and the hardest part I think for me was that I was scared to really just fall around the cuticle area because I was scared that I was gonna cut my clients. Um, but it just took practice and patience. Uh, but like. Like I said, a lot of the time is if you don't do this part correctly, you will get lifting. So make sure that you spend a little bit more time on this part. Even if you have to like slow your e-file down a bit, that is completely fine. I use mine at 10,000 RPMs when I'm doing this. But like I said, I always just go around the cuticle area and then of course, filing the rest of the nail as well.
So after I file all of the nails, I'm going in with the buffer and this is just to make sure that all of the nails are nice and smooth and that there are no scratches on the nail. And then after we finish buffing the nails, we're just going to go in and dust them off and then wipe them off with an alcohol wipe. Then I'm going to go in with the Soleil Nail Adhesive, which is what I always use for my bling. And I'm just going to go in and apply some bling. So I'm using the little Kite 3D uh, bling. And then I'm also going to use the little horse eye or water drop. I can't remember what these are called. And then I'm also using my um, AB SS6 and SS12. Or sorry, that's actually the one in the middle that I just placed a big one is the horse eye. And then like I said, I'm doing the SS6 and SS12 as well. Um, and then I'm also going to do some gold caviar. And then the rest of the nails are just going to be plain. And I'm just going to do the Madam Glam gel top coat on all of them. Alright, so now I'm just applying the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat and then I'm going to cure them for 60 seconds under the Madame Glam Holly Lamp and I do have a promo code for them, so I'll be sure to leave that down in the description.
Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. As you can see, they turned out really pretty. I love those colors together. And y'all, I'm really falling in love with that pink, that hot pink on the middle finger. That is so cute. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at getno32. And I'll see you guys next time.